Yeah, it's me. It's been a while since I've talked to my special pal friends on the internet. You know, the individual subscribers who have formed a parasocial bond with me. Especially those of you willing to harass my enemies on my behalf. You know, a lot of people have been saying horrible allegations against me. And I just like to remind you folks that allegations are just that alleged. Meaning we don't quite know if they are true. Yeah. You didn't consider my side of the story, did you? You were too busy having your fun with your hashtag canceled memes and your true crime podcasts and your local news reporting. Everybody join in the accusation game. You can say just about anything as long as they're allegations. You don't care if I've been frank You want drama, you want blood, you don't want a conversation. The loud mob justice train. The tracks go through the gym, it'll tear me limb from limb. This I'll be its next victim, subject to the vulture's whims. You don't need evidence of my sins, cause hey. tape saying, I, Ariel Violet, did not methodically murder 33 men between the ages of 24 and 37 years old. You'd just love that, wouldn't you, you little crime perverts? Well, for your information, there's a little thing called the Fifth Amendment. That's why my lawyers told me I shouldn't talk about anything where related to my impending criminal cases, including the involuntary manslaughter trial. But they didn't say I couldn't sing a little ditty about the allegations whilst accompanying myself on the ukulele. <laughs> so, you know, technicality, no down boo over, you know? <laughs> Comedy bang bang reference. I'm a millennial, what can I say? <laughs> I mean, is a silly little ukulele song really admissible as evidence in court? I mean, probably, but <laughs> it'd feel pretty silly showing it to a judge and jury, wouldn't it? You know? It'd feel a little silly, wouldn't it? It'd feel a little silly. I think you'd feel a little silly doing it. I think you'd feel silly. Be a little silly. You know? Anyways, although I have yet to be found guilty in a court of law, it doesn't really matter when you're playing the accusation game. Drawing conclusions from circumstantial evidence and baseless speculation. You don't care if I've been framed In a zealous mob justice train No conductor, no referee, just a mob tormenting me Those men are already dead punishing me Won't bring them back But you still defame and won't retract Cause hey We're all just having fun What about that evidence that people keep on bringing up? <laughs> I mean, are you really going to use a stand-up comedy set I did three years ago as evidence? Really? Really? 
it, you know, like, it's like, it's funny, like, cause I think about when I was like a kid, I like, was like, I'm never gonna do drugs, and I'm like, gonna find that one perfect someone, I'm gonna be with them, and it's like, you know, and it's like, I never like, thought that I was gonna like, actually like, murder a man, <laughs> you know, like, I stabbed him a few times. <laughs> Like I, I feel like a little. I do feel insecure sharing that because like I don't want to like, you know, like I think about silence and it's like I'm not that stereotype. I'm not like never, like been like the trans girl who's gonna like murder a man, you know? <laughs> they're, they're my roommates, and it's like I'm I'm sorry for the blood stain on the bathtub, you know? It's like, I can dispose of the body. I mean, come on. I guess these days, thanks to political correctness. <laughs> You really can't make a joke anymore without somebody accusing you of being a psychosexual, sadistic killer. But, I know what you're gonna say next. You're gonna say, Ariel, what about the case of Stanford Bankston? The man who supposedly died of an accidental fentanyl overdose in your apartment, despite you having several unused Narcan sprays that you might have used to revive him. You know, these things, Narcan sprays. And what about the fact that the autopsy found that he was missing his heart? Begging the question, if you beat his heart like you described doing in that stand-up comedy set. It's like, you know, I never thought that I would like eat a human heart. <laughs> You know, it's just like when you're in that moment, and you're like, you know, I'm like, I'm a vegetarian. So I don't even eat meat, but like, it's like I was cutting up the body, and I was like, oh, there's that perfect like heart, and it's like this is my opportunity to eat a human heart. I'm like obviously gonna take it. So you know, I did, and you know, it tastes it all right. It's but it's not even like about the taste, about like of the heart. It's just like. I want, like, I, it's just that thrill, it's that, like, ooh, that shiver down my spine of, like, <laughs> killing a man and eating like, one of his organs, you know? And all I have to say to that is, even if I ate his heart in an act of cannibalism, it doesn't mean I was responsible for his death. I mean, come on, is human life really all that precious? I mean, we're all gonna die eventually anyways. I mean, if we're dealing with a dead body here, it's basically just me. Eating their flesh isn't gonna make them more dead. <laughs> I mean, seriously, have none of you considered the possibility that morality is subjective? Who's to say that human lives Worth more than that of the ant beneath your boot. Now at this point, I bet some of you are thinking, Ariel, it doesn't really seem like you're even trying to absolve yourself in the public's eyes. It almost seems like this video's whole purpose is just to cruelly mock the families of the victims. Emphasizing that as of yet, you have not faced any legal consequences for the cold-blooded murders of their loved ones. transgendered woman. Everybody's just jumping to the idea that I'm this horrific serial murderer without even considering the possibility that this could be a case of 
transphobic stereotyping. That you didn't consider that, did you? Well, anyways. To all my fans who have continued to support me in any way, thank you. Really does mean a lot to me. I'll try to make more content soon. One more thing I'd like to clear up. Say the word sorry once. It's not an apology video. It's a non-apology video of anything. I didn't say sorry. I'm not sorry for anything. I didn't do anything wrong. So don't call it an apology video. It doesn't belong on those ranked lists of apology videos because I'm not sorry. I didn't say I'm sorry. So can we clear that up? It's not an apology video. I'm not sorry. Thank you. It's, I know I have an addictive personality, and it's just like, I know that I will kill again. And it's just 